What's up, what's up, what's up? Straight up TV. Straight up. We in the build. Another episode. And now, Straight up TV. podcast around the globe. Wait, what? Straight up TV. With your host, that dude all-star. What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to Straight Up TV. If it's your first time tuning in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. Today is February 12th, 2022. And I'm in the I'm in I'm in here with Jay Calloway. What's Jay up, Calloway? Duff, baby. What's going on? What's going on with you? All-star, it's good to be here, man. Thank man. you for having me. Bro, here. I ain't seen you in like Damn, bro. When last time we uh, it's been a minute. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say um, pre-COVID. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is when the last time we actually had an opportunity to break bread and to politics. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but yeah. you know, great minds come back together, man. It's just like a boomerang. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Bruh, I mean, I think we were still we were where we were in college. College. We was in college, man. We were in college. Yes, and, and 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 when you came in, man. We connected. We connected. Yeah. We connected. Like I was like, let me. I mean, I think we was right in the middle of shooting a short film, yeah, or or, or something. And you came in and, and it made the film even better, bro. I so you know it. what I'm saying. And we've been friends ever since, man. Every once in a while, we send a text message, you know, holler, phone call. Because I mean, you've been busy, bro. What you been doing, man? We we've been doing several things. I'm, I like to be busy. Um, the most recent thing was Monticello's uh, Lexus Corner. Yeah. Well, we actually brought Lexus into the club, you know, and, yeah. and and provided a service for people to actually to purchase the vehicle while they're partaking in their favorite beverage or their favorite person. So, oh, yeah, um, that was one of the big things. And there's a few other things on the back burner that we're we're, we're pushing to the front uh, forefront. You know, um, things happen progressively. We just have to be ready. So yeah, man, I'm I'm here, man. I'm I'm li- I'm loving to be here. I'm glad yeah, that we reconnected, man. We yeah, should have did this a yeah, long, yeah. long time ago. Yeah, I'ma say it, bro. This I've been I've been hollering at you. You've been busy, but now, <laughs> but now, I, you know, I got I've been busy here yeah. lately. So yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But it, it's good, bro. It's good. When you called me yesterday, I was like, man, come through. Let's jump on the mics, man. Let's make it do what it do, you know what baby. Saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But today we're gonna talk about. The do's and don'ts of a relationship. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, I mean, listen, bro. This is going to be a good episode because... It's going to piss him. Hey, it's like... It's like... Uh, I, don't, I don't think relationships are hard, bro. I really don't think... I think the two people that want to be in a relationship, the relationship is not going to be hard. You know what I'm saying? It's a choice. You know, it's... Like you said, it's two people. Um... It's a give or take regardless if it's something just in the beginning stages or something going to matrimony. Right, it, right, it's, right. It's right. got to be a give and take. Right. Two people got to want it. And it depends on who wanted the most. Yeah. You know, moving forward. And, 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 and in most, case, most cases, one of the people in a relationship is not fully, ha- hasn't bought into the whole program of being together. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's where the first problem is. Mm-hmm. Like, if, if if I'm running to you, you should be running to me as hard as I'm running to you. When you got somebody who ain't running, There's it's off balance. It's gonna be a problem. It's off balance, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just gonna be off balance. It, it's gotta it's gotta make it do what it do. Um, just get into relationships, and and this is a disclaimer to everybody out there in TV land, radio land. If you got emotions, go ahead and put them on the shelf. This is about to be spicy like Frank's hot sauce. You know what I'm saying? I put that on everything. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Uh, J. Dot Calloway, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to give you my opinion. You know, if you don't like it, then you yeah, just don't yeah. like it. We're going to do it. Though. It's, it's just straight up. Straight up TV. It's <laughs> straight up. Straight up TV. Jip chill. So, question. All Star. Yeah. We talk about relationships and in the media right now, heading most um, topics and giving most advice. Either we got the celebrities talking about relationships and rap music or whatever music you choose. Yeah. And we have none other than Mr. Kevin Samuel. Right, 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 right. What's your take on our new generation and the role models, per se, that are giving us this advice? You know, you know... I'm going to start off by saying some of that shit <laughs> is for entertainment, bro. 
<laughs> it's for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, if if you if you are gonna take the advice mm. of someone mm. that's talking a bunch of shit that you halfway believe and halfway don't, mm. then you already lost. Mm. Rem- remember, like like we were talking about earlier. Those celebrities, those those, those Cardi B's and mm-hmm. those mm-hmm. Megan Goods and so they live in a whole different lifestyle, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like what they spending and what you spending and how your life goes and how their life goes is two different things. Two different things. Don't if your their life is supposed to go and it's supposed to roll a certain way. You can't compare what you going through to what they're going through. You know what I'm saying? Preach. Like like for instance, for instance. I think uh, one of our friends, Rashard B, Rashard B told me uh, that uh, Future has got a new song out, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In the verse, he says, I spent 100K for Valentine's Day Mm-mm. and you still ain't happy. That, that's what that's he said. Deep. That's what he said. That's so so it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't the little guys that work check to check. It's everybody. Mm-hmm. It's everybody. So... In a relationship, if you're giving out A and B this year, next year you got to give out A, B, C, and D. Well, 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 well. This is how I feel about that. If you got to put a price on happiness, then you might might as well not be in that relationship. Yeah. That's my take on it. I mean, when you're looking at a long-term relationship and you, you have to have... And, and this is a Callawayism, so plug Go ahead, it in. Go straight this up. This is a Callaway. This is straight up TV, right? So to me, holidays are built by governments to fund the pockets of said governments. Right. Have you ever right. realized every other month there's a diff- different holiday? Love don't cost a thing. And I ain't trying to big, you know, artists up, but love don't cost a thing. You know, you do have to have money. To go out on dates and yeah, to yeah, have recreational, yeah, yeah. you know, interactions. Right. But what love got to do with me bringing you a box of chocolates and a big old teddy bear every single year? Right. right what right. love got to do with me spending a hundred thousand dollars on an automobile just to say I love you? Right. To me, that's a cop out. Love is the things that don't cost time or money. Right. It's right. being in the presence with you. Right. It's spending quality time. Right. It's getting to know each other. And being on that level. And a lot of us, we got it twisted up. You said it earlier. Yeah. Celebrities. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you a question. I'm, and you know what? I love all celebrities. I'm going to put this disclaimer yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have nothing against you. But I'm going to throw some names out there. And if you're out there on TV land, Facebook, Instagram, social media, chime in. We want to hear what's in, going chime on. Chime in. You know? Um, I'm going to throw some names out to you. We have the likes. We already said Cam- Kevin Samuels because right now he's... He's the hottest thing smoking on the male side, right? Yep, yep. And then on the female side, three names come to mind, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, or a Megan Stallion. Right. Which you they have the attention of the majority of our female presence. You understand? Mm-hmm. All that to me is secular. We didn't even talk about religion at that particular point. But the message that they're sending is not the exact same message that they were sent to their daughters. Straight up. Ask Cardi B. Her daughter ain't listening to her music. Why? Because the parent side, the real side of that, is that she don't want her daughter to be influenced with just booty, 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 booty yeah. popping everywhere. Yeah. You understand what yeah. I mean? So we have to be adults and be accountable for our own actions. You right. know, right? We can't let these people brainwash us to think, "Oh, you're a celebrity. You know, is you're Kevin Samuel, so I have to believe everything you say." You grow up. You feel me? Love don't cost a thing. When you find that right person, you need to cherish them and keep them. Right, right. And it's a give and take. That's right. my thoughts on that. You know, chime in. If you have yeah. anything else to say, you know what I'm saying, let me know what your thoughts are. Yeah. Let's take let's take it back, uh, Jake Calloway. So so let's talk about respect in a relationship. Or okay. that that's like that's like the foundation of any relationship. Mm-hmm. Like I can't we can't begin to walk together or work together or communicate to, we can't do nothing if we don't respect each other. Mm-hmm. And and I think that most relationships, people get together and they don't fully respect each other. Like like they're thinking that they can go into this and begin to respect you. 
You can't start off a relationship if you don't have no respect for each other. And 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 when you don't have respect for each other, that is that is a direct line to trust. Mm -hmm. If I don't have if you don't have no if I don't have no respect for you, how how am I going to trust you? You know what I'm saying? I I, I mean, I, I I'll double that. If you don't have respect, to me a lot of times you have to get to know each other first. Yeah. To to make that decision whether or not I'm gonna respect you. Right, 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 right. And then when we wake up in the morning, I don't care if you black, blue, purple, or you know, American, it doesn't really matter. We have two things in common. We have a decision and we have a choice. Right. Right. right? So if I choose to be in a relationship with you mm -hmm. and I don't have a common respect and I don't know you and I haven't put in the time to get to know you, then that's my fault. Yeah. That's just like, you know, lighting a rocket and sitting on top of him like, oops, I didn't know it's going to explode. Right, right. Exactly. That's, good, that's good, a derailed good train. Example. Good <laughs> that's example. a derailed train. And yeah. it's like, what do you do at that particular point? You have to be able to take time. To me, and this is only a Callowism, time is more important than anything. Yes, money and women make the world go round and man, all that good stuff. But time. Yeah, yeah. You can ask a billionaire, right? Mm -hmm. If a billionaire was on his deathbed, right? Right. He wouldn't be like all-star. I wish I had another hour so I can go and invest more money. He can't take it with him. Can't take it with you. But he would say, I wish I had another hour so I can go and play with my son or mm -hmm. to be with my wife or to be with my significant other. That's what relationships bring. Yeah. So time to me is the biggest factor on it. Right. So that's 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 where I go with relationships. But speaking of relationships, All Star. Yeah. You just said today's date is what? <laughs> today's February twelfth. That's three days. Three well, days. Two, well, two days. Two, two days. days. I'm trying to give myself extra days. Two days. It's two days before that St. Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of us going out there and heavily in, in, in influencing the economy uh, by spending money on the same roses, the same teddy bears, the same chocolates. Yeah. But let me ask you a question. Let me pose this question. When was the last time I heard you say... <laughs> when was the last time you looked at your mate and said, baby, I love you? Yeah. I appreciate you. On a regular day. On a, a regular. Just a, just a Monday. That doesn't just cost a Tuesday, anything. Just a Wednesday. And just that, because. And it lasts. Yeah. That right there by itself lasts more yeah. than anything. And I'm going to go on a limb and say, if we took the time to water our own grass and fertilize our own grass and to take care of home, we wouldn't have as many issues. If we right. stop listening to so many social media experts that oh, are single. She. You know, Jake Calloway, I swear <laughs> to God, man. Listen, <laughs> it, kill, it kills me when, when, when somebody that's giving relationship advice and their narrative mm -hmm. is strictly one way. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's your Kevin Samuels, your, yeah. your Cynthia G's, your whoever. Yeah. Yeah. It kills me that you don't see that this place, this person is playing to the right the to whole it. time. Yeah. Why can't you take and understand that this person, their narrative is to sm is to smash a certain certain narrative? You know what I'm saying? Like anybody giving real advice is going to be they're not going to you're not going to be able to notice that they're really going right mm -hmm. or going left. Mm -hmm. they're just going to be kind of all over the place. Right. It's right. like it's going to be a yes and a no, mm -hmm. and it's going to be positive, and it's going to be negative. I think we uh, we put our blinders on. It's like religion. We have cafeteria Christians, right? You got cafeteria Christians. They're Christians when it's convenient, right? Right, right. Same thing with relationship, right? Guys have been dogged for so long. Yeah. Been talked about. Preach, we ain't preach. good. We ain't been appreciated ain't. for so long Tell that me, when we get a brother like a Kevin Samuels to step up and degrade, and that's what he's doing, is degrading women and putting a woman in her place. And that's the problem that I see. It's like if we're looking at relationships and it's two sides to every coin, should we really be demeaning? Or downplaying the role of a woman if they genuinely do not know their roles to this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We first are adults, so we have to be able to take accountability for that. But the other piece of the puzzle is there's generational relationships. I mean, 
uh, generational curses. There's yeah. um, a background to that. Mm -hmm. If you would say, what if you had a woman that didn't get taught properly? And all she knew was, I'm a princess. I'm a girl up to get married. But they don't know what the whole story is. Their mom and daddy didn't get married. Their grandmother and their grandfather never got married. Yeah. Their great -grand They don't have a history of being able to learn from somebody who has the experience of marriage in the first place. And, yeah. and then they venture out at 21 and look for the richest man out there that's going to just take care of them without proper knowledge of what it takes to be successful in a relationship. So you mm -hmm. have to generally fail at something if yeah. you don't know. Yeah, that's say that again, bro. Listen, you have to generally it, anytime, fail. Anybody, anybody that was good at anything failed. They had to fail. Miserably. Yes. Anybody that succeeded and conquered and won the first place, second place, or whatever, they failed first. They didn't get that on first try. They failed first, bro. And, uh -huh. and, and that's, I hate to say it, but that's how a relationship is. Yeah. I mean, and it's, and it's going into something with without any grave expectations. And a lot of times when we are people, we, we go into relationships with the expectation to be Ken and Barbie. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> we go into these relationships with the expectation of being Ken yeah. and Barbie, yeah. Michelle and Obama. Yeah, you know what? I'm yeah. so and it's, it's perfect from the TV version. When you're sitting in front of the television or your phone and you, you're looking at, oh, that looks so sweet. Yeah. I wish you was more like yeah. that, Frank. Yeah. It's like, come on. You don't even know them. Yeah, and, and you don't know what he's doing mm -mm. and you don't know what she's doing. Mm -mm. It, it's a lot of work to make a relationship perfect. If there is a such thing. Is there a such thing as a perfect relationship? I think, I don't think, I don't think it's a perfect, but some relationships, it depends on whoever's in that relationship. I think yeah. there's a pretty good. And in my personal life, I just think that you're always growing. I learn from a lot of old people and people tell me I got an old soul. So yeah. the, the old soul in me is that there's no perfect. There's only getting better. Right, right, right. It, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Yes, sir. it's definitely. But Jay Calloway, let's talk about this communication, man. Okay. Uh -oh. Because because I think couples relationships, I think they they. We already talked about respect, and mm -hmm. and I think that's a straight line to I can't trust you. Mm -hmm. If 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 I don't, I don't res you don't respect me. I can't trust you both ways. But communication. You know how many people, that, have a conversation about the issue as far as couples. Mm -hmm. And after they have the conversation, they haven't solved nothing. Yeah. Like how how what kind of communication is that? Where we go into a debate or we go into a conversation trying to discuss the issue, mm -hmm. but after we both finish and we go around in a circle and a circle and a circle, nothing solved. Oh. Nothing solved, bro. Okay. So here's my take on that. And I cannot take credit for this. Uh, Victory World Church, I uh, attended a seminar. Yeah. And for eight weeks, I want to say six to eight weeks, we listened to couples. Right. And not their success stories. Okay. We listened to their horror stories. Oh, wow. And the, the whole objective was to look to your left and look to your right and, and try to figure out if that's your mate. Right? Oh, wow. So say, get, say that again. To, you know, you have to actually weigh out if this is your mate. You know, relationships and getting married, that's two different things. You know, a lot of our women today, they are actually, um, they're taught at an early age about being a princess, or being a queen, or, or being married. So their hopes and dreams, their entire life, they've been practicing. They've been taught you got to cook you got to clean you got to you know it's it's a whole lot of different things in our american way of life so you 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 have to understand that there's always going to be a greater expectation right but when you go back to communication the key to communication is listening right and talking and sometimes listening more than you talk yes and not going into a relationship blindly with some type of an expectation right 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 with expectation leads disaster and 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 you that that's great bro because if you're not listening 
and you steady trying to talk, you're not you're not absorbing Mm-mm. what's being said to you. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, you never can begin to solve the issue that you having because all you want to do is get off what you want to say. Right. I got let let me listen to what you said and let me try to understand what it is that your grievance is about. Mm-hmm. Let me let me try to understand where you're coming from. And and then when I understand that, I'll 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 display, okay, I understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Okay. And and I think you you got some valid points. But let me let me tell you how I feel about it. And you got just because just like I listen to you, you have to respect me and let me tell you how I see it, how I feel it. And then and then after we understand each other, we can somewhat meet in the middle and figure out how to get on common ground. That but but if but but if I still want you to say I'm right and you still want me to say you're right, we're not going to get nowhere. Well, you just said it. Going into a conversation with a motive is the worst kind of relationship, the worst kind of communication that you ever want to hear. Because a communication is not to, I want y'all to listen, take a pen out and listen to this part, okay? If you're in a relationship and you have an objective to be successful in it, yeah, it should never, ever be about winning. It should always be about growth. Right. I'm going to say it again. If you're in a relationship, it should never be about winning. It should be about growth. In so many cases, we have these relationships where we're in a debate back and forth, and all we want to do is win. Look at my third. This is what, this, me, 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 me. Yeah. But that's you're not getting anywhere. Yeah. I'll share something with you, and I hope I hope my significant other, my wife, Allow me, I stole it from somebody else anyway, but it worked with me. <laughs> so hopefully she'll be okay with me sharing it with y'all. Um, early in my relationship, we had a problem with um, debating or having a conversation without letting the other person finish. Right, right. And we went back to the old school ways. When I say old school ways, I'm talking about the Native American. The Native American had what we call um, a talking stick. So if you have a good relationship with your woman, I would suggest that you try it. So the talking stick means whoever has the stick, that's the only person that can speak at that particular point in time. Right, right. They have the floor. Right. And when they're done voicing their opinion or whatever they want to say or communicating, they pass that stick or the baton to you. Right. And then you have. It teaches you patience mm-hmm. you know and at first it wasn't the same way all oh, stop yeah i mean it was like five words yeah. da, 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 da. hold on i got i got the talking stick yeah you know would you allow me to talk please <laughs> but how big is the stick i mean it could be anything yeah the talking stick could be a pencil yeah i think we started off my grandfather passed and he left a cane so we start using that yeah it could be a um an empty roll of uh paper towel it it's just the mindset of you're in, you you have the floor right now. Right. You you tell me what your thought process is and it's training selfish people and we're right. all selfish in some phase to listen. Right, right, right. To listen first. Yeah. So, I mean, that helped me and everything is judged on its own merit. Everything is not everything's not going to be the same. It's going to be some similarities. It's going to be same books, different chapters. I used that earlier today. I had to reuse that. I like that. I like the way that sounds. But, I mean, relationships are for the long haul. It's it's forever and ever. Amen. That's why they have that circle, the ring they put on your finger, and they say, you know, the vows. Right. It ain't just for show. Right. You're right. I I like that. Hey, listen, if you out there uh, in uh, TV land... (laughs) Listen, if you're in a relationship and you guys are having some issues uh, debating, discussing things, Mm -hmm. do like Callaway said, get you a talking stick. And like you said, whoever has a stick has the floor. And the other person has to listen and understand where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. And then when you're finished, you just pass the stick over, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's it's opposite roles. I like that. It'll make you think. I mean, if you genuinely care about the person that's in a relationship with you, what do you have to lose? You don't have nothing to lose, man. 
everything to gain. Yeah. And it's a lot of us uh, in our in our past. Our parents could be our best friends or they can be our worst enemies. Right. So if you grew up in a household where your parents argued all the time about everything and nothing, you know, chances are you're going to argue about everything and nothing. If right. you grew up in a household where your mom didn't respect your, your father, right. then it's going to be very hard for you to respect somebody regardless of how much you love or like them. Those are what we call generational curses. And with ger- generational curses, you have to be able to pray that kind of stuff off and take a stand. Right. You know, you have to you have to validate or vouch for your relationship. Yeah, and then and then and also Callaway, a lot of people they get in a relationship and this goes for men and women. This mm-hmm. is this is not a, 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 a we're not talking about uh women Mm-mm. being the bad here. We're no. talking about both sides. And, and 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 most men out there, listen men, if you get with a, a nice young lady and this young lady is sincere and she's giving you her time and 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 she's actually investing in, in, in you do the right thing, man. Do the right thing. If you don't want nothing with this lady, tell tell this lady, listen, I ain't, I ain't, you know, I ain't got my shit together. Or whatever it is, man. Don't play with these young black queens out there. Exactly. Don't play with them. Just tell them, like, listen, yeah. I, I, you a good lady. <laughs> you got a job. You educated. And I'm not where you at. Mm-hmm. I'm not where you at. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So hey, they appreciate pa- it. Pass me it. Pass me by right now. They would definitely appreciate it a whole pass lot. Pass me more. by right now, cause cause I so, some dudes out there just they trying to hit. That's it. They trying to hit. But if you're honest with them, maybe they don't want nothing either. So yeah, I mean. yeah. I mean, <laughs> they trying to hit. But yeah. but but Callaway, you know how many couples out there actually listen? If do do you need to go to bed at the same time? Like, like, say two couples that are, if you're doing things together, and that's one of the love languages, quality time, mm-hmm. um, do things together. Go to bed together. You know what I'm saying? Go shower together. Uh, don't go to bed mad Mm-mm. at each other. No. Don't go to bed mad at each other. Have that second conversation after you both calm down. Mm. After you both calm down. You know what, Callaway? In, in, in my last relationship, bro. Bro, my last relationship, I used to just, after I done said what I needed to say, and she done said what she needed to say, and maybe I'll go one more time, <laughs> I'll let it go, bro. I'm already done. I'm already, I said, you know what? I see what you're saying. I see, you're right. I see what you're saying. I ain't got the energy and it, the time to keep going back. I've already said what I needed to say. Either you heard it or you didn't, but I'm not going to keep going back and forth with you. So I'll just go ahead and say, I see what you're saying. Sometimes it's important as men, and I, you know, this is not an absolute across the board, but a lot of us men, we allow our women to win. And I'm, I'm going to be careful what I'm saying. I'm walking be on careful, eggshells. Bro. Be careful. Uh, a lot of us would be more patient and more um, understanding regardless of what's right or wrong. Mm-hmm. And that's a sign of growth. Right. When you can listen, like your your wife or a significant other could be a, uh, what's that, Tasmanian devil back in the day, uh, Animaniacs or whatever yeah. it is. Be. So she could be tearing up the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you don't know what's going on because of the emotions. You know, women are allowed to have emotions. You know, those are our creators, the goddesses, and, you know, before before we shun women to say, hey, you can't read, you can't write, you got to do all this other stuff. Right, right, right. Women were our oracles, oracles, oracles. Right. Women were our goddesses, you know. Women were our queens before anything. And a lot of times we kind of, you know, prejudge, but it's, it's coming back home to roost. So if you want a successful relationship, you must put the work in. And putting the work in means you need to listen more than you talk. That was that's what made a successful salesperson. If you ever get a salesperson to do a lot of talking and don't right. listen, go to another dealership. You know what I'm saying? That's a sidebar. But I mean, there's no two relationships that are going to be identical. It's um, it's all about the two people who really want it the most. Right. And if they really want it the most, they would actually give and take. Right, 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 right. It, that's and that's what it is. It's that's about it's it about is. taking a little and giving a lot. It's 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 Valentine's <laughs> Day, darn it. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, it's Valentine's Day, your boy J. Dot Calloway here with All Star. Yes, and we're talking straight up TV. Straight hey, up. It's straight up on the podcast, straight up on the airways, straight up TV, baby. J. Dot Calloway, if you don't know who I am, go put your fingertip to the keyboard and Google somebody. J A E, baby. So just getting back to this relationships, love, language, religion, it's a whole lot of different pieces. Yeah. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot. Just go to your favorite celebrity or your favorite uh, motivator or your favorite church and dump all your issues on them, perfect strangers. They don't care nothing about you. Right. If you really want to be in a relationship, take the negative and the positive, dump them out on the table with your significant other and work them out. It's important that you guys see the good and the bad of each other before you say, I do. It's a big ring. You like that girl? It, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. ring is materialistic, it right? Is. It is. And that's what our world is all about, especially in America. Everything is materialistic. Oh, he bought me this. He bought me this. He bought me this. But do he love you? Right. Do you know him? That that big ring don't mean, mean nothing. That that is not a measurement of how much he loves you. Do we love his mama? Do we respect his mom and yeah. the daddy? Because if you don't respect his mom, then there ain't no way in the world he gonna respect you. Same thing with the women. Yeah. Is she talking back to her mom, talking about she's gonna fight him and all this other stuff? You do hey, back up. Right, right. Rewind. You know, throw some holy water on it. Sprinkle yeah. some holy water or something on it. Yeah. But like, at Callaway, it's 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 in a relationship, man, it's okay to say I made a mistake. It is. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to say I made a mistake. I think I think in relationships, man, it it, it turns into a competition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's not a competition. We on the same team. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and if if one person makes a mistake, then it's easy to say I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and we, let's move on from that. That's maturity, though. Yeah, that's personal growth and, and all that. Mm -hmm. Just 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 say I made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Now now, if your mistake is uh, you stepped out, <laughs> you stepped out, or, or, or <laughs> you, yeah, you ain't giving me quality time. So Tyrone yeah. said, <laughs> yeah, um, that, that might be an issue. Um. And, and again, it goes back to relationship again. Um, I'm going to say this. I don't care who you are out there. If you really value and you want what you say and say what you want. Yeah. Be a big man or a big woman. Yeah. And and put your mate first. Right. We talked about earlier Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, yep. Megan Thee Stallion. Kevin, Samuel, they have one thing in common and one thing only. Their paycheck. Yeah. They're not What's trying. up? What's up, Darren? I see you. Darren says communication is the main ingredient, and without that, you have nothing. That's what Darren Amen. said. And uh, I see James Sykes. James Sykes, you know. What's up, James? So, um, Callaway, let's, get, let's, get, let's go deep. Let's go deep. Oh, you want to go deep? Let's go deep. Straight up? Straight up. What, what is that sound of it? Hey, listen. What did he Listen. Get? Straight up. Straight up. Let, me, let me ask you a question, Jay Calloway. All right. All now, right. Th this this is that Kevin Samuels and that all the, the, the you know, listen, in a marriage, right? Mm -hmm. Man's supposed to be the provider, right? Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be the provider. Supposed to be. So, a lot of women out there say that if you're supposed to be the head of the house, uh -oh. the provider, uh -oh. they say that if I have to kick in on the utilities bills and or I have to kick in on the rent, mm. how are you leading me or how are you the head of the house when I have to help you? Like, is it okay to go 50-50 with all the bills and utilities? Because a lot of women out there have an issue. They start off with it and it's okay. Mm. Helping out. Mm. But then they get into all these YouTubes mm. and all this craziness. And they, they think, so why am I submitting myself to a man who I have to help mm. pay utilities and, and rent and stuff? Mm. So so what's your take on 50-50? All right. I'm glad you asked. Before I say anything, I'm going to take a short break to actually shout out. It's what we call this right here. This is a commercial break. <laughs> uh, 
we want to take a shout out to um, to Alex over at Allstate. Um, if you need car insurance, just bought a car. She got the lowest rates. If you're eating healthy, there's no other way than Ava, another veggie addict. You know, dietary supplements. She's feeding the the uh, all the celebrities out there. Um, vegan meals on wheels. Um, Ava. Also, Monticello's Cigars Bar up in Smyrna. About to open up one in, in uh, <coughs> Gwinnett, if you're an uh, Atlanta native. And last and not least, uh, Mr. Alvin Thomas in Chattown, Tennessee. Unc Al. He just uh, chimed in. I see you guys in there. Deborah uh, Halston chiming in way in from Syracuse, New York, where they have snow still on the ground. And it's like 8 degrees. Uh, is it eight or negative eight? So going back, rewind. Boop, 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 boop. How do I feel about this 50 50 in a household versus being a protector and provider, a provider for our, our, right, our right. women? Let me let me ask the question again. Okay. So if if I have so if the if the wife, girlfriend or whatever, if she has to help you take care of the bills, help you pay the rent. If she has to help you, why should she submit to you if you can't do it all? So basically, it's, it's do you believe that the relationship should be 50-50? But, it, but if I'm the provider, should it be 50-50 or should I just be able to handle everything? My personal belief, um, and I take this out of biblical context, a wife is a helpmate. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's just a Callowayism. What does that mean? Break that down, Callaway. I'm glad you asked. So a helpmate, meaning that yes, a man should be the protector and the provider. I've been brainwashed to believe that, right? But that's my belief. That's Bible, Bible fed. That's old school South. You need to take care of your woman, or somebody else is going to take care of her, right? You should be able to take it. That's why they have these fantasies of you know you know fairy tales dancing in their head uh but in some cases you have to look at the relationship you have to look at the situation there are women out there that were raised by men right right that were coached to believe that you know what don't be comfortable with your man taking care of what if something happens to him right right so they in a constant headbutt of trying to figure out who's the man really you said it earlier about being in competition that goes all the way back to that communication. That goes all the way back to knowing who you're in relationship with. Right. Now, that conversation should happen well before you're in a committed relationship. Right. You have to understand that you're talking to your mate. You're asking, so what are your thoughts? How do you want to raise children? Do you want children? Um, do you think a man should per, you know, provide for a woman? You know that on, on the first date when he, you got some of them lean back brothers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They invited you on a date, and they lean back like, <clears throat> you know, I'm mm -hmm. getting paid the next week. Right. Uh, excuse me? Mm -hmm. um, personally, if I have a daughter, I'm going to raise them just like I was raised. I was raised by mostly uh, a, a single-parent household, and, you know, a village helped me with that. But mostly women were around me. I feel that depending on the financial status and, right. and when you say I do you understand your man's financial status and right. you, you understand your woman's financial status right. and at that point a communication a conversation needs to be had if you don't have a combination a conversation then shame on you because you're leading into disaster you cannot right. assume yeah. when it comes to finances some women don't want you to take care of them right 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 they want it it makes them feel like they're Straight it makes them feel like they're wanted. Right, right. You know, right. to take care of it. So it's it's not a hundred percent of